night on Kingfisher Games. We are playing Onitama. Yeah. Then am I late? Uh, yeah. Oh. Did you remember to do your chance? No. And did you slap your head? <laughs> no. Bojo and welcome back. I'm Aaron. I'm Owen. And I'm Chloe. And together we are King Fisher Games. Games. Today we're talking to you about Onitama. A game by Senpei Sato, by, brought to you by Arcane Wonders, and it's out from the Dice Tower Essentials line. It's for two players, for ages 10 plus, and takes around 15 minutes. Your objectives, either collect all the other players' nunks, or get your master to the other master's temple. So join us at the table to find out more. Onitama is an elegant and simple game which captures the essence of martial arts. For the setup, arrange the playmat on the table between you and your opponent. Next, each player chooses five pawns of one color, one master and four students. Each player places their master pawn on the temple arc nearest them and their four student pawns on the two squares on either side of the master. Lastly, shuffle the 16 move cards. Give two random cards to each player face up. This is the player's hand. Each player places both of their starting cards in front of them face up. Turn over one more move card and examine the stamp in the lower right hand corner of the card. The player with the pawns that are the same color as that stamp will go first. So in this game, blue is going to be the start player. And that's the setup. On your turn, follow each of these two steps in order. Step 1, move and attack. On your turn, examine and choose one of the two move cards in front of you. Then move one of your pawns, the student or master, as shown on that card. The black square in the middle represents the space your chosen pawn occupies. The colored spaces show where your pawn can move, relative to its starting position. You can move your pawn to any of these spaces indicated. After you move and attack, move on to step 2, exchange cards. Simply move the card you used to the middle and take the card that was previously there. Now it is time for your opponent to take a turn, following the same two steps. There are two ways to win. To win in the way of stone, you must capture your opponent's masterpiece. To win in the way of the stream, you must move your own master pawn into your opponent's temple arc space. During the game, you cannot make a move that would cause a pawn to move off the board, or move onto the same square as one of your own pawns. If your pawn moves onto a square that is occupied by one of your opponent's pawns, the opponent's pawn is captured and removed from the game. You must actually land on the piece to capture it. Moving over or through a space occupied by an opponent's piece does not capture it. Players will continue to take turns until one of you has won the game, demonstrating mastery of your martial art.
this game is over with a quick handshake and a victory for the way of the stone. <laughs> so that's how you play Onitama. We want to give a big shout out and a thank you to Tim and everyone over at Meepleville Board Game and Cafe. Uh, they're live on Twitch at the time of this recording. Um, but they gave us a shout out over there. We want to return the favor and say thank you. Meepleville's on uh, YouTube. They're on Twitch, Instagram. They have a store down in Vegas. Um, yeah. We like to have fun here. We hope you do too. Like and subscribe for more board gaming content. And don't forget to comment down below what your favorite animal and move is from Onitama. Gigawa Min Minawa.